Welcome to Patty's Aquatics. Now in this video, I want to talk a little bit about something that occurred in one of my tanks recently. Um, have you ever had a bluish green looking slimy algae show up in your tank, maybe at the bottom of your substrate or starting on your plants or on some of your hardscape? And then you maybe have like a musty earthy smell kind of emanating from your tank. Well, if so, those are all signs that you could possibly have blue green algae, also known as cyanobacteria. Now in this video, I want to go over what it is exactly, how you maybe got it, and most importantly, how you get rid of it. So what exactly is blue-green algae? Well, like I said earlier, its name is cyanobacteria. Now within that name is the word bacteria. And that is because this is no algae, it is actually a bacteria. It's actually a bacteria that uses photosynthesis to grow the same as plants. Another thing to note about it is it comes in more than just that blue-green color that you typically find in aquariums. They can come in black and brown and even red. Now I've had it show up as red in my aquarium about two or three years ago. It showed up on some of my plants and I couldn't figure out what it was. I did lots of research and the different algaes and looked at blue-green algae, but it wasn't blue-green, so it threw me for a loop. It wasn't until I did some more extensive research that I found out that it could come in a red color, so I was able to identify it. Now, another way to identify that possibly blue-green algae is coming in your tank, like I said earlier, is the smell. Sometimes you'll get an earthy or foully, stinky smell emanating from your tank. Now, this never happened for me. I never had a smell, but from what I read in the research I've done, it says that this is an indicator that blue-green algae is starting to show up in your tank. Well, the next question you might be asking yourself is how the heck did I get this? Well, from the research that I've done, the cyanobacteria is very prevalent in tanks that have high amounts of organic waste that can sit stagnant within your aquarium. How does that happen? Well, there's a few ways. One, you gotta look at your current, number one. You may not have enough flow within your aquarium. Now, whether that be your filter, maybe it needs to change directions. Maybe it needs to be cleaned. Another thing is like, I don't use filters. so. I have air stones. Maybe I need some more flow within my aquarium to help with it. Those are some things to look at. Two, maybe you have a piece of hardscape that's blocking your flow and creating dead spots within your tank. And then you have light just shining down in those dead stagnant areas, which can also cause it. And then three, it's cleaning. Now, your substrate might not be cleaned enough. Or if you have a dirty tank like myself, in this tank that I have it, I have one big Fajaca puffer. Maybe you don't have enough fish in there enough current to be able to turn and move everything along so it sits stagnant. Those are all things to look at and what could possibly be causing it within your aquarium. Well, now that we talked about what it is, how you maybe got it, let's talk about how you get rid of it. Now, this is how I plan on getting rid of it. I'm using Fritch's Marison. It is a, for bacterial infections. Now, I believe any of the medications that are used for that will work because they all have erythromycin within them. Uh, Fritz Marison, like I said, this one I haven't used before, but I've used API's erythromycin before and been successful. Also, Fritz carries a slime out, which is geared towards specifically cyanobacteria, which I have used in the past and has worked. So the directions for this is to put one packet of medication for each 10 gallons of tank water. Now, this is a 75-gallon tank, so I'm putting eight of them in. Then I'm going to let them sit and saturate. I believe the directions on this medication say to put them in and then after 48 hours do a water change and then re-medicate. I'm going to let it sit and saturate for about a week and we'll see how it goes. So this is immediately after putting the medication in as you can see the blue-green algae cyanobacteria how much it's grown. Now this is day two. Day two the water clouded up a little bit but I think that's normal. Now, the one thing I did have to look out for when using this medication is because it is a bacterial medication, I would be a little afraid that it doesn't wreck my beneficial bacteria in my cycle. This is day three, by the way. As you see, it is starting to decrease a little bit. But I wasn't too worried. The packaging actually says that it does not hurt your beneficial bacteria. I would imagine that some of it would be killed off, but if you have a very cycled tank, there should be nothing to worry about. Well, this is day four. As you can see, that bacteria is slowly decreasing with each day that we're moving forward. Now, there's other ways to try to get rid of this too besides just using medication. 
Now you can do it naturally from what I read is you want to choke the light out within the aquarium. But the problem with that is, is you're also choking the light out to your plants. So along with killing that bacteria, you also might kill some plants and I don't like that option. This is day five. Again, the bacteria has subsided even more. I don't really see it on my plants or on the heater anymore where I had it. There just seems to be a little bit yet within that substrate. Now this is day six. As you can see, it's pretty much almost gone. There might be a little tint of it yet still on that sand. So I'm gonna let it sit on here yet for another day, but notice the hardscape. The hardscape is clean, like there's nothing on it. If you go back and look at day one from it started, it almost looked like there was a black shade of that cyanobacteria on there as well. Plants are completely clean. The heater's completely clean. I don't see it in my plants anymore. So then we go on to day seven, and I can say that it is 100% fully gone. I no longer see it on anything. So now that I let this sit and saturate for seven days and I've completely eliminated it, now I'm going to do a little bit of a water change and put some fresh water in there. Well, that's how I got rid of cyanobacteria or blue-green algae from my aquarium. Um, a few things I want to touch on first is that beneficial bacteria with using erythromycin. I really don't believe that it really kills too much of any bacteria within your tank but there is always a possibility that it is killing some because it is a bacterial medication. Now, if you have a seasoned cycle tank, I really don't think you have anything to worry about. If you have a newly set up tank that this is popping up in, I'd be a little bit more careful. I still think you'll be okay, but I'd be a little more careful. Two, if you are getting it, look at some of those reasons why it may be occurring. Maybe look at your flow. Look to see if you have dead spots or maybe take a better look at the way you're maintaining your tank. Maybe it needs to be cleaned more or something needs to be changed. Also, if you have experienced this and you have other ways that you've gotten rid of it or combated it, please share it. It's all information that someone might be able to use down the road. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it helped a little bit. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated. But if you do, make sure you hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of my upcoming projects. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time here at Petty's Aquatics.